Here is a 24 inch LED television. I am connecting the power to the TV. Then after turning on the TV, it goes back to standby mode within one second. Look here, the TV has gone into a standby mode. This is the problem with this TV. Dear friends, I am Amy Mustafa from Warnet Pixels. Welcome you all to today's video on LED TV repair. So let's get started. We know that the two red wires of LVDS socket have positive voltage. So now we measure and see if there is a short circuit or not. Only 3.3 ohms. So now disconnect the power supply connection of the DC to DC converter circuit and see what happens. There is no short circuit here anymore. So we understand that there is a short circuit in this board. To be sure, let's measure once from fuse to ground. Only 2.9 ohms here. So now we look at the circuit diagram and try to understand where the short circuit can occur. IC number 6861AQ. This IC is pin 16, 17 and 20 have a positive supply from the fuse. So short circuit can occur inside the IC. Moreover, there is a MOSFET inside the IC. From the drain of this MOSFET, the switching voltage is output and there is an inductor to apply a positive bias voltage to the drain and the source terminal of the MOSFET is directly connected to the ground through the pins 27 and 28. So short circuit can happen here too. Finally look here, here is a diode for pulse suppression and 3 capacitor for low frequency, mid range frequency and high frequency pulse filter. These four components are connected from positive to ground. So short circuit can be found here. Moreover, there are three more filter capacitors which can cause a short circuit. In this situation, checking all the components is a lot of trouble. So now we will disconnect from here and try to understand which section is short circuited. So cut carefully. Okay, now let's check this section. There is no short circuit in this section. So now let's check this section. Only 2.9 ohms. So there is short circuit in this section. Now look, this section has only two capacitors connected to the ground. So we remove these two capacitors now. Ok, now let's connect the cut print. Ok, now I will connect a 4.7 microfarad capacitor here for testing. Then a 0.1 microfarad capacitor must be connected here. Ok, now let's test the TV. Dear friends, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to get more videos. Like, comment, share please. Thank you so much.